Hey guys, how to get free telemetry displayed on screen for Le Mans Ultimate with Tiny Pedal. This is a race labs alternative. It has a bunch of other features you can use, but I think that the on screen uh, break and throttle inputs are the most important. So the first step is to set the display settings to either borderless or windowed, not full screen. That's so that the overlays can appear on top. So first step, you want to go to the web page for Tiny Pedal. Here's the link for that. And you want to go to the, the releases section. And then you'll download uh, the Windows zip file and you'll unzip it into a folder. And the other thing you'll need to get is the R Factor 2 shared memory plugin. So you have to go to this GitHub page and download. There's a link here to a media file and that's another zip file that then you can unzip. Then you need to make two changes to the folder structure in LMU. So you can get to the LMU folder structure if you go to the properties on your uh, Steam settings. And you go to installed files and hit browse. So here's all the locations. You'll want to go to user data and player and adjust this custom plugin variables. So you'll need to enable the plugins. So you need to put this uh, amount of text in there. I'll put it in the comments so we need, uh, you can copy and paste in there. Basically just turn, telling the plugins to turn on um, and to send the data. And the other thing you'll need to do is you'll need to put the plugins in the game. So you have to go back to the homepage for Le Mans, go to the plugins, and then put in this R Factor 2 shared plugin that you downloaded and unzipped, and you'll put it in this folder. Then everything should work in theory. So then let's launch the game. So we'll launch the game, and then we'll launch Tiny Pedal. And you can see that the Tiny Pedal here, you have all these modules and you have all these widgets. So you want to enable all the, the modules, and then choose which widgets you'd like to run. Usually I just run this trailing one. Uh, the trailing one is just the that the on-screen break and throttle. So to set it up, you can go to any race session in LMU, and then you want to open uh, the tiny pedal, and you can adjust where these things are on screen. You can adjust the overlay. Uh, you want to unlock this lock overlay. You can move, have it in the grid move, so it kind of moves in a grid. Then you can configure. So I adjust some of my settings of how this looks. Uh, first of all, I make it bigger. So I increase the display width and height 700 by 150. It depends on the resolution of your monitor. I put the display margin to three and the scale of three. I think that's similar to kind of how Race Labs has it, of how much detail you're seeing and how kind of compressed it is um, when, it's, when it's going on screen. And then I like to set the, the throttle and the brake to five in terms of line width. So they're a bit bolder, otherwise they're very skinny. And another thing that I like, I like that it has a wheel lock. So I have this wheel lock on. It'll show some yellow dots on the screen if you're locking the wheels in the GTE cars. And I just think that's useful to see. Um, and then you kind of know, especially because the wheel locking it, it hurts your tires a lot in LMU. So hopefully this was useful. If you're interested in setups for LMU or F1, I have a link in the description. I have a 10% off code. Like, comment, subscribe. See ya. Bye.